None of us really knows what the future holds, but we do know the possibilities are amazing. We've got the potential to create a world where people live as long as they want, where scarcity is a thing of the past, where the human brain and body are radically enhanced, where friendly AIs smarter than any of us help us achieve our goals. And there are also some darker possibilities. Humanity Plus is about helping humanity get the future right, not just the technology, but making the technology really work for all of us and those who come after. Those of you who know me already may be surprised to see me here talking to you about Humanity Plus. I'm better known as a research scientist. I started out as a mathematician. I now do research on artificial general intelligence, on robotics, on life extension, on computational neuroscience, and other areas. I'm also interested in mind uploading, genetic engineering, nanotech, femtotech, a whole lot more. The reason I got involved in Humanity Plus is it seemed like the only organization out there whose mission encompassed all these different areas, including their interrelationships and their broader implications, including trying to make sure all these technologies get developed in a beneficial way, and we all have rights to their benefits. I think the world needs a world-class organization that's devoted to future technology in a broad sense, not restricted to some particular class of technologies or issues. Humanity Plus is now a small organization, but I'm here because I think it has the potential to grow into something really important and really powerful. What does Humanity Plus do? We have worldwide chapters, we run conferences, we run a magazine, we fund research and development. Our chapters are spreading the word about advanced technology and futurist thinking in dozens of different countries. We're gathering together a huge diversity of perspectives on how to get the future right and different perspectives on what getting the future right really means. Our last conference was at Caltech this last weekend, just a couple days ago. We had sessions on AI, economics, art and design, and longevity. For example, in the longevity session, we had Michael Rose from University of California and Aubrey de Grey from the Sense Foundation debating their very different approaches to ending aging. Now these two researchers have often sparred in the past in the academic literature. But after his talk at our conference, Michael Rose said it was the most meaningful exchange the two researchers had had. Our overall goal with our conferences is to work toward a unified understanding of how to create a better future using current and incipient technologies. We want to bring together researchers who have overlapping ideas, even conflicting ideas, and try to get it what is really the, the core disagreements and what everyone can, can see the same way and try to build the future together. Our magazine, H Plus Magazine, is edited by Are You Serious, who's been a leader of futurist journalism for decades. Some of you might remember his previous magazine, Mondo 2000, way back before the future was, was fashionable. Are You, he's starting a new magazine feature for 2011 called Problem Solved, Humanity Plus Solves All the World's Problems. Now, of, of course, RU is always a, a bit tongue-in-cheek. We're not really going to solve all the world's problems next year. But the point is to take a positive outlook. Each month, we'll consider a different problem and bring together a host of expert opinions about how advanced technology can solve it. We also publish select future-oriented books through Humanity Plus Press. We collaborate with scientists and engineers around the world on critical R&D projects, helping bring funding and also interdisciplinary insight to those technologies we feel have the biggest potential to make the biggest difference. We host the GATA Prize for Personal Manufacturing, done together with the, the, the RepRap uh, 3D printer people. We're working with WideTag, on using the Internet of Things in which every physical object has an IP address, using the Internet of Things to enable mobile healthcare. And we're working with OpenCog, which is my own open source AI project. OpenCog is trying to build artificial general intelligence, thinking machines that think in the same sense that people do, and ultimately more generally and more powerfully than, than people do. And we're working on this with a host of researchers in, in the US, in Hong Kong, in, in China, in Europe, and Humanity Plus is helping to bring funding and interdisciplinary expertise to the OpenCog AI project. 
So we're a broad organization. We're not focused on any one technology or any one issue. But out of the breadth of our mission comes some very specific action items. We could use your help right now with our Problem Solved magazine initiative. We need your help to solve all the world's problems. We could use your help with our work on spreading the Internet of Things. We could use your help with the OpenCog project for creating beneficial general intelligence. After all, if we can create artificial general intelligence more powerful than the human mind, a lot of these other problems and a lot of these other technologies may proceed a lot more smoothly. There's a lot more to say about these things, and there's a lot of other cool things I'd like to talk to you about. So feel free to chat with me more tonight, send me an email, talk to the other Humanity Plus representatives we have here, stop by our table. This is a, just the beginning of a, a long conversation, which is one of the most important conversations we can have. Thank you, Ben.